Coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Ready? You ready to fight? to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh! things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Back and forth we go! Big kick land. Nice defense there, huge block. And he lands the knee to the body now. Good one. Quick leg. Big knee lands there. Oh! Well, he continues to do it. Oh, huge elbow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a pin. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to... Oh. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay. We go inside the octagon, Bruce. It's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Well, 
Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be this. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. It could be whipping like this. It only exhausts you because every moment you're trying to throw to knock the opponent out, when you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> Johnson gets hit by that leg kick. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking. DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he landed the nice one too. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Oh, the uppercut is clean. Strong to quite strong there. Oh, man. Shot is blocked there by Johnson. Oh, big elbow. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right up the elbow, right up the land. You gotta check these low leg kicks. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds now remain in the round. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, head kick blocked by Johnson. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entry, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match that these two guys would easily match. He really takes control as we go into the second round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through hey. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Able to check that kick as well. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Johnson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. Oh. Oh, inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. And now he lands a combination.
corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Great punch. transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, that's the end of round number two. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fight. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Punches in bunches, and he... Oh, huge elbow! Oh, he's hurt. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! Johnson's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, going for the takedown here. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Nice kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he'd have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strike. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all the... Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him. Fight. Oh, big knee! All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the knee very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these. Oh! Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished.